<sighs> what to do, y'all? It's your boy, Trey 80. And this is the client corner. Uh, tonight's topic would be 50 50 relationships. Are you against them? Do you agree with them? You know, like, what are your thoughts on that concept? Now, personally, as you know, as I've explained in my introductory and many other videos as well, I'm currently engaged. I do consider her to be my wife. But, uh, personally, in my opinion, I mean, honestly feel like it's some shit that I don't think it's popping, man. You know? Uh, everybody's different. Everybody handles things differently. Uh, me, personally, I've been pretty much living on my own. Well, excuse me. <laughs> Um, but yeah, me personally, I've been, I've been kind of like on my, on my independent tip for a long time and just not something I'm in favor of. Um, now my, my whole thing is this, okay? So typically when you're on the dating scene, the individual that you're dating, you're going to get to know, you're going to know things about them. You know, you're going to ask where you work or how long you've been working there and do you have any career goals, uh. You know, um, have you been to school? Do you have um, any degrees of any kind? You know what I'm saying? So you do question that individual. And you do wonder, like, you know, exactly where are you going in life, right? So um, a lot of adults, they definitely want to have somebody that can handle their own. They want to have somebody that handles business that, of course, prior to meeting you were living life enjoying life you know paying the costs to enjoy life but from that 50 50 aspect i mean that i mean i don't know man i mean i feel like it is to each his own you know um some people respectively appreciate it that way because you know that that allows the man to pursue i mean that is if that's what he's doing that allows him to pursue his dreams and his aspirations and you know that allows him to obtain his goals and of course when he's short on a certain endeavor his spouse can compensate vice versa you know women too there might be you know two separate individuals that came together they both have dreams um, by no means are they halting those dreams because of their relationship I mean you would think within the relationship you would hope that um, you know the relationship of course would grow but then also the two coming together would be supportive of each other's dreams so to each his own um as you know you know i'm an artist i write songs i write poetry um i'm, I'm pretty much into music i'm into uh you know graphic design and, uh, you know um, also in the the midst of trying to get a clone line all the way set up together I'm currently doing a crash course with my city music entertainment apparel you know just for my label you know what I'm saying I'm trying to get that thing working and you know my wife is very supportive of that you know so um, it works you know now we don't have a 50 50 arrangement you know so I mean essentially I pay what I think should be paid and essentially she pays what she feels is best and we're okay with that you know so um, it is really to each his own you know some people have a, a method to their madness but my question was always like in that kind of scenario I mean you got a lot of individuals that you know didn't finish high school they didn't um, they weren't the, the sharpest knife in the shed. They didn't, you know, they didn't pursue education 
or even go as far as they could with it you know so it's kind of like with them you know you gotta wonder is it permissible you know what i'm saying like you got two individuals that came together and they're doing what works you know one may be a store manager at mcdonald's the other might be a manager at walmart you know not the biggest paychecks ever but some way somehow they've made it work and they go 50 50. now i mean if you're probably just in a relationship and it's fresh it's new you know maybe you don't have the intent to get married right away you know maybe that might be the best you know and i'm just saying from a standpoint of we don't know what tomorrow holds but at least you're in a position with your partner to the point where if whomever decides to go their separate ways at least with that being said each of you have respected each other's financial situations therefore you know there's no struggle when the separation occurs I think the sad part when um, not saying that this is my situation or scenario of any kind but I think the sad part is when you do have that man willing to go above and beyond for his lady and um, you know maybe they're not married maybe they're not engaged or maybe they're not even thinking of that but he's fitting the bills for her she's okay with that but when he decides to jump ship what does that mean now a lot of states are going to consider you as common law and i don't know what the stipulations are with that you know what i'm saying i don't know if if they were never legally married on paper and he decided to split if she gets a portion of what he makes or how that works but you know i feel like essentially it's it's a situation where men are almost setting themselves up to fail they're in a situation where they're fitting all the bills and i mean let me go back the women excuse me the women is placed in a situation where she fails because he was fitting all the bills and she chose not to do nothing more than be at home you know so now she's in a situation where if the court grants it cool you got a way out you can start life anew but if not like what do you have to show for it and then vice versa you know the man's fitting all of these bills what if she does have a job she's making good money but she doesn't really pay for nothing but the things she wants now some men are cool with like the women just having her money that's you know that's what it is i want to take care of you but i also think to myself what happens if she decides to split or something happens to him medically he decides to split is she gonna be there will she pick up those insurance bills if he's laid off will she pick up those insurance bills you know will she pick up his financial responsibility because he no longer can like it's an iffy situation so you know like comment share and uh let me know what you think straight 80 uh you know one fourth of the client corner and just give me your thoughts on a 50 50 split a lot of women think ah oh, no nah, hell no he a man he's supposed to take care of that understand it or understood but at the same time we're we're living in a day and age where life is expensive you know and i think it's it's we're living in a world where it's okay for a woman to work prior to her meeting that man she was probably working so you know unless a baby's on the way baby's involved i really don't see where her working is the biggest issue there are a lot of women that want to work even while they're pregnant you know shout outs to y'all shout out to the men that won't let them you know but um i mean it really boils down to doing what you want to do and being with somebody that you can be comfortable with you know it doesn't have to be 50 50 it can be 25 75 it can be 80 20 you know whatever works in your world go with it if you're comfortable if you're happy stick to it you know what i'm saying so this is just my opinion my perceptions of it all once again it's your boy trey 80 this is the climb corner make sure you like comment share and subscribe all right
talk to you later, y'all. 100.